Okay, let's have some more fun with long words. Uh, this is a lovely long word. This is subdermatoglyphic. And I'm not even going to tell you what it means until we've broken it down. So we're going to start straight away. I'm going to put a dash in here. A dash in here. And a dash in here. All right. Subdermatoglyphic. Let's go and look at what those things mean. Okay, so here is sub. This is the prefix occurring originally in loan words from Latin. And um, this is freely attached to elements of any origin and used with the meaning under, below, beneath, or slightly, imperfectly, nearly, uh, or secondary, or subordinate. Now, as you'll see later when we actually get into what the word subdermatoglyphic actually means, it will be the first one of those, under, below, beneath. And so we'll now move on to the next part. So that's sub. Dermato, this is a combining form, meaning skin, used in the formation of compound words, dermatology. So as you can see from this, this is something that is um, to do with the skin. So we've got subdermato, glyph, a pictograph or hieroglyph, a sculpted figure or relief carving, architecture, uh, it's an ornamental channel or groove. Okay, how would that be? So hang on, we've got skin and we've got relief carving, a channel or a groove. Okay, it's coming to you now, isn't it? You can see what it might just be. Let's just look at this. Um, a little bit here. This is uh, this is the suffix on the end. Uh, it forms adjectives from other parts of speech. Uh, so on this model, uh, uses an adjective forming suffix with a particular sense of having some characteristics of. All right. So uh, it has some characteristics of being glyph-like. All right. So we've got sub dermato glyph. Ick. Let's now look at what the word actually means. Subdermatoglyphic, uh, at 17 characters, this is the longest accepted isogram. That's a word in which every letter is used only once and refers to the underlying dermal matrix that determines the pattern formed by the walls, arches and ridges of our fingerprints. And that's a really fascinating word and one I hope that you will uh, I hope that you will uh, share this video and uh, I hope that this has helped to uh, encourage you to be uh, more interested in long words and less scared of them. I'm Liz Goodwin, your voice coach. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.